Anybody hear that? It's an impact tremor is what it is. I'm fairly alarmed here. Why the hell? Hey guys, this is Antonio Zilla here. Now, oh my gosh, this really caught me off guard. I am in a toy store in a Italian mall and I found this thing. It seems that no matter the occasion, Mattel will always pump out great quality Jurassic Park figures for us collectors to indulge in. Need I say that the new Dominion collection is just as good, if not better, than previous entries in the Jurassic lineup. In particular, the super colossal Giganotosaurus has impressed me the most. Allow me to just walk through this figure and show you what I mean. Starting at her bloody enormous head, Harmonizing detail can be seen from the tip of the nose to the edge of her gorgeous crest. I find it very interesting that this new design of the Giga looks like this, as the real deal looks not even a little bit like the Dominion version. Real fossils suggest that the cranial ridge bulges into an oval. Instead, Dominion's Giganotosaurus has a triangular skull shape that makes a point at the tip of the snout. Dozens of dagger-like teeth emerge from the jaw and overlap with each other giving a very gnarly appearance. Sharp osteoderms run from the top of the head to the very tip of the ginormous tail, tapering at a blunted point. On the neck, pebbly, almost rock-like patterns poke through crocodilian, armored scales that form a geometric pattern across the whole body. The arms, while somewhat disproportionate, still pass in my book. I mean, there's not much to comment on, they're just arms. It's not like any cloned dinosaur in the Jurassic universe is going to be accurate. Granted, the full design of the Giganotosaurus in the Dominion Prologue does show the arms in inaccurate chicken position. Anyway, armored scales run down the toes and taper at the tip of the nails. The tail is just like the rest of the body. It's got them osteoderms all over the place, accompanied by a scaly underside and a nice, natural-looking curve. The articulation is what comes standard with the Super Colossal lineup. The jaw opens on two hinges, allowing a wide-open gape. The arms twist 360 degrees, the legs pivot just a little, likely to make up for its really heavy weight, and the tail swerves side to side. I forgot to film these two things, but the neck swerves side to side on a hinge, and the tail has an extra twisty bit halfway down. The paint is virtually like any other Mattel dinosaur. About four colors are used. Golden eyes, a green body, a blonde belly, and black stripes splotched all over the top. A big question asked by a lot of collectors is, does the Giganotosaurus in fact outsize the T-Rex? I wondered this myself, and it turns out they're literally the same size. And of course, the three and a quarter inch scale lineup is completely dwarfed by the Giga. I kind of like this, almost like a mutant dinosaur got loose or something. Well guys, that concludes my detailed inspection of this lovely, lovely lad. Thank you for watching it. Also, my bad for the slight delay on the review. During spring break, I visited uh, Athens, Greece, and Paris, France. Both are beautiful countries, and if any of y'all travel internationally, you should definitely check them out. Anyway, I'm out of here. See you later. All right, I gotta make this quick because they're evacuating the building, but look, it's the Mona Lisa Gate, so pretty wow.